Here we go now. Here we go. So I'm gonna do a different, slightly different little scene right here. Mmm. Since, oops, since it's cold, chilly, and whatnot, I, I love using whatnot lately. Whatnot. I'm going to do a little scene with a a uh, person skiing. You know, some ski thing. So let's do that. Here's a little trick, guys. Those of you who are trying to uh, create artwork and, and loosen up, uh, it might be frustrating in the beginning. I don't know. I don't know how you've experienced it. But it might be frustrating in the beginning to try to just loosen up. Okay? I hope I, I, I'm making any sense. Uh, don't just try to loosen up in the beginning. Just it just start painting. The, the loosening up, that whole thing, that thing's going to come to you. What you want to do is you want to start painting. Because part of the reason why, why, why it's more difficult to loosen up uh, for a lot of people is because you're not painting enough. That's really why. Okay? So I just want to make that clear because uh, people have been asking me that. Like, I, I haven't been able to loosen up. Uh, it's because you are not painting enough, so I found that loosening up is just a uh, it's a byproduct right of painting enough you, you start painting enough and then you start I don't know like things start making sense all of a sudden you can start almost predicting what the next color is it's a very strange thing you know you're not trying to match colors you're not trying to it's a, it becomes more of a prediction. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I promise you. So that's a little tip right there for, for the people that are that are that have been asking me how to loosen up that they can't loosen up. It's 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 just a it's a byproduct. It's a byproduct. And you, of course, your mind your mind is going to help you. Like if you stop uh, overthinking stuff, that's going to help you. But what's going to help you more in the beginning, I think, is just to to uh, how's it going, guys? It's just to just to create artwork. I mean, just just create artwork. That's really what's going to help you. The bottom line is that is that it becomes diff difficult to create art to try to loosen up if you if you don't really show up to the studio. If you're not really creating artwork, it becomes you know very difficult. So. There's a little, there's a little genus sais quoi. That's what I found out anyways for me, the, the whole loosening up thing, it's, it's not, you, you can't do both. You can't, you, you can't like try to think about it and paint. Like it's either one or the other. So the way that it's happened for me over and over is that I I realize that I'm not really thinking much so if I'm not thinking much that means that that I spent a lot of time just painting right should go out more <laughs> I should go out more <laughs> I should try to I should try to have a hobby right <laughs> other than this but yeah there's a little, a little something right there. For the people that have been asking me over and over, like, dude, I, I'm trying to and I seem can't, I can't seem to loosen up. Uh, or, or they're afraid, maybe if they loosen up, they're afraid, they're, they might think that they're going to, I don't know, experience some uh, 
that you're going to fall below your your potential or something that you're not going to experience something I don't know that you're not going to do what 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 your best is what I'm trying to say many people have that feeling that oh man if I loosen up I may not you know I may prevent myself from doing from from reaching my my best and you know that kind of stuff so I doubt it I highly doubt that that, that might happen uh I don't even think that's a possibility. I think if you listen up, you you you'll start reaching other other um, other things that you didn't even know were available to you. Hopefully, right. Got this guy skiing. All right. And it's very much like that, you know. The more I, I realize something, it's it's a. Uh, it has a lot to do with attention, but it can't be. Uh, it can't. It, it it sounds weird because because I'm here talking about attention, and I'm I'm very loose what I paint. It's it's like it's purposeful, but not. You can't be sloppy with it. And I know it sounds weird, right? Because this probably looks like something very sloppy, but it's very purposeful. It's very purposeful for me. You know, it's not, I'm not, it, it, when, when you get sloppy, it's because you don't want to be there. That's the bottom line. Like if you get sloppy, if you're like, man, I can't, I'm, I'm only getting sloppy. It's two things. It's not always the same one. It's two things. You haven't practiced enough. Or, or if you already know what you're doing and you get sloppy and you're like, man, I can't find my groove, it's really because you don't want to be there. That's 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 really what's happening. You don't want to be there. You're tired. You, you you wear yourself out mentally. Usually, it's it's really nine out of ten. It's not really it's not really physical. It's mental. You you wear yourself out mentally, and therefore you can't show up anymore because now you you drain your your powers thinking about it. That's the worst one when you start draining your 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 you start draining your, your strengths where you shouldn't, right? Which is the, the, the it's, a, it's a it's habitual, the mental habits of of just thinking about stuff. So it's a. I found it to be sort of like a little dance where, where you are extremely free, but but you're slow at the same time. It's the weirdest thing. It's the weird. That's that's why I always have such a hard time uh, 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 explaining it. That's why I use. I think I use so many words because because it's 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 almost. Uh, it's it's like a, what do they call it paradoxical I think it's 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 like it's experiential right it really you can't really point to it that easily maybe I can't I don't know maybe someone else can point to it easier but I found that that the, he, here's where I, one time I, I I heard it from from Wyatt Earp because I live in Arizona so we have the the, the you know that story from here right from tombstone and, and and everybody loves that movie and everybody loves that movie here in arizona too that tombstone movie uh i remember reading in one of the little shops uh i think it was in tombstone 
somewhere. I, I, I saw this white art, a book of his life and, you know, the, the, the famous lawman, white art. And he was asked when, in his older age, I guess people would like try to look him out and, and try to talk to him when he was older. And people would ask him like, like how do you survive like duels and stuff? Like how do you do it, right? Being in the middle of of the Wild West gunfire and stuff, right? And and all that. How do you survive it? Uh, I think one that was one of the questions. And he said he he responded something along the lines of you have to be really quick. He said, but also take your time. And when I heard that, I was like, there you go. That's it right there. It's like a. I never, I never heard it that way, right? That was the first time I heard. I, I read, I read that. It was the first time I, I, I heard it like that. Like you have to be really quick, but you have to take your time, and that to me said everything. I was like, see, that's that's exactly how how I view painting. And of course, these are completely different things, right? Like this is like some. Uh, uh, Macho guy, right? So, but I, I thought it was interesting, you know, that that even even there, that's expressed, even there, right? Even in in, in the Wild West, is expressed. Uh, you have to be really quick, but you have to take your time. And I think I think I'm almost a hundred percent sure, based on on my experiences of creating artwork, he was talking about you have to be quick, but you have to pay attention. So how can you be quick paying attention? I, I think the quickness is 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 uh, almost almost let's let's call it this almost granted to you if you're paying attention. If you're not paying attention, then you're you're like you're just upset, you know. You're like ah, you're just upset because things aren't working for you. But if you're paying attention and you're and you let loose, man, you're unstoppable. You're unstoppable because it's it's. I think it just it comes down to attention, like you know, and and like he said, right? You have to be quick, but you but you have to but but and slow at the same time. So again, one of those things that contradicts, right? It's a it's a contradiction. It almost sounds like like some uh, philosophers talking, right? It's a, it's a contradiction. Like wait a minute, Mister Herb, <laughs> is it fast or is it slow? You got to give me one, you know. Is it fast or is it slow? And and that's the way he that's the way he he survived the the Wild West, right? That's the way he did it. And I believe it. I believe it. I believe that that in anything that you're doing, if you do it, quality people get 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 confused. Quality means attention. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean uh, photorealistic. It doesn't mean I spent, you know, 10 years doing it. That's not what it means. That's not what quality means. Quality means attention. And it's a very esoteric term, uh, to put it that way, in, in very esoteric terms. But quality means attention. For me, anyways, and, and I know for, for many people out there. When, when, you, when you experience quality, like, oh, I spent quality time with my spouse, or with my son, or with my daughter, or with my cousin, or whatever, right? Family member. You're not saying I spent so much time. You're saying you spent quality time. Because quality time is you spent attentive time. It was attention. There was attention happening. Anyways, there we have it. There's my ski, my 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 uh, skier, ski man, or how do you how do you call that? Anyways, he's skiing. He's like, yeah, 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 here I go, here I go on the slope. All right, guys. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy this little video. This is 16 by 20 inches uh, canvas, stretch canvas, and it will be on my on my eBay uh, shop. Uh, I'm gonna auction it. The auction is gonna start at 99 cents. Those of you who are interested, go check it out. There's no reserve, so if you win it, if you win it, you want it. If you win it, it's because you were lucky. No, it's because you really wanted it. Because some people really want it, want them, and, and they'll beat you to them. But. Uh, you know, the person that wants it the most is the one that wins it. That's just the way it is. Look at that. Man, I should probably stop, but I want to keep going. It's so much fun. All right, we'll stop there. Thank you so much, guys.
Adiós.